everyone welcome to this tutorial in which we are going to discuss a very famous problem called max distance so first i'll uh, explain the problem statement and then we can look at the various test cases to understand in brief and then we can come up to the coding section so the problem statement is given an array a of integers find the maximum of j minus i subjected to the constraint of a of i less than or equals to a of j so what j and i are here j and i are the indices of the given array so we need to find the maximum value of j minus i that is the difference of two index such that the first element is less than or equals to the second element so a of j refers to the element towards the right because we need to maximize j minus i so it would be the higher index elements so a of j is greater than or equals to a of i so we need to find two such elements such that the rightmost the right element is greater than or equals to the left element and we need to maximize this distance between them distance refers to the difference of their indices so this question has been asked in various good companies like google amazon and microsoft so i'll explain you the test case here so let let's look at this example suppose a is the given array which is 3542 okay so the output to be returned is 2 so why 2 because if we look at any two elements suppose 3 5 the rightmost element is greater than the left so your j minus i is 1 minus 0 which is 1 so uh 1 is the maximum as of now but if we look at the two elements 3 and 4 okay so here the rightmost uh, right element is greater than the left left element and the difference of their indices is this is at index 2 so 2 minus 0 which is 2 again let's look at some other example suppose we take 5 and 2 so even here the difference of indices is 2 but the right element is smaller than left so this is not passing our case and 5 4 is also not passing our case so 5 3 uh, sorry 3 5 and 3 4 are the two which passes our case but uh, the maximum difference or the maximum distance between them is 2 which is for 3 and 4 so maximum value occurs for the pair 3 4 so let's uh, look at the approach for this problem so what we can do as we need to uh, take into consideration two properties here first that the right element should be greater than the left element and second we need to maximize this distance so the right most element and the left most element is the ideal case such that the right minus left would be maximum which is the last index minus the first index okay so logic would be make a vector of pairs where each pair has the element comma index format so why so because we need to take into consideration the two properties the distance as well as the greater or smaller element okay so this will help us uh, make it possible the second step would be sort the vector in the increasing order of the elements so why are we doing so because when we sort the elements of the vectors in the increasing order of their numbers so we are sure that the right element is greater than the left element and then we only need to handle one property which is the difference of the index one okay third step iterate the loop from the last element why from last element because we know that the maximum element after sorting would be present at the last index of the vector that of the vector of pairs that we have just created fourth step would be for each iteration maintain the max index so far and maintain the max distance which is max index minus correct current index so far so why so because this is the value that we need to maximize and return as an answer so return the max distance so let me repeat two properties are to be handled here first that the right element should be greater than the left element and then the difference should be maximum the difference of their indices and not the difference of their values so that's why we are making a pair of element comma index so we can keep a track of the values as well as the index the original index at which they are present then only we can say that the difference of their indices is maximum so let's code this example and then we can further discuss from the code itself so let's make a main method here main so let it return one as we have written int as the return type let's take the given array as the input so vector of int a equals to let's take the example that we have followed so it was 3 comma 5 comma 4 comma 
ओके सो लेट्स पास दिस टू ओन मेथड सो मैक्स डिस्टेंस एंड लेट्स पास दिस एरे सॉरी वेक्टर ओके नाउ लेट्स डिफाइन आ ओन मेथड विच विल हैव रिटर्न टाइप एज वाइट सो वाइट मैक्स डिस्टेंस एंड लेट्स टेक द वेक्टर दैट वी आर पासिंग एज इनपुट ओके सो नाउ एज डिस्कस लेट्स कम बैक टू द स्टेप्स हियर सो स्टेप्स आर मेक अ वैक्टर ऑफ पेयर वेर ईच पेयर हैज द एलिमेंट कॉमा इंडेक्स फॉर्मैट सो लेट्स डू दैट फर्स्ट सो लेट्स फर्स्ट फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन दिस वैक्टर सो इंट एन इक्वल्स टू ए डॉट साइज दिस स्टेप्स गिव्स अस द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन द वैक्टर इन द वेरिएबल एन देन लेट्स क्रिएट अ वैक्टर ऑफ पेयर ऑफ टाइप इंट कॉमा इंट वेर द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट वुड बी the element and the second element of the pair would be the index of that element in the original vector okay so this then let's name it p then let's declare a loop variable now let's look for i equals to 0 i is less than n i plus plus so now the first step is make a vector of pairs which where each pair has the element comma index format so let's just create it so p is that vector of pairs so p dot push back and what we need to push back the pair of a of i comma i why a of i comma i because we need to make it element comma index so this is a of i is the element and i is the its current index in the given array okay so yes we have done that now let's sort this as the second step is sort the vector in the increasing order of elements so increasing order of elements means on the basis of the first value so by default the sort method sorts on the basis of the first value and then if it is same then it sorts on the basis of the second value and so on so we'll just write a sort a dot begin a dot n sorry a will not be here p because we need to sort the vector of pairs on the basis of its first value okay so this step what it has done it has just sorted this vector of pair in the increasing order of the values of this elements so suppose if the input is 3 5 4 2 so here it would be sorted as 2 3 4 5 so let's just print it out so print i equals Zero i is less than n i plus plus. Let's check it out. C out p of i dot first. Okay, p of i dot first gives us what the first element of the pair, which would be the element of the vector that we are dealing with. So let's just check it out. This much code. So now let's just compile this part of code to understand what exactly is happening. so compiled successfully let's run it okay what is getting printed 2 3 4 5 so what was in input 3 5 4 2 2 3 4 5 is getting printed so let's print in the form of value comma index so the first element of the pair and then the second element of the pair which would be the index here and let's print it on the new line so let's check what happens now compiling again because i have made changes run it okay 2 3 3 0 4 2 5 so what is this this is the value comma index pairs in the increasing order of the value so as you can see the first value refers to the actual value and the second value refers to the index so 2 3 4 5 it is sorted in the increasing order of the value and second is the index in the original array so what is the index of 2 in the original array 3 what is the index of 3 Zero. What is the index of four? Two. And what is the index of five? One. So this way we have sorted the array in the increasing order, keeping the original index as it is because we will need this while calculating the maximum distance. Okay. Now let's let's comment out this code because it was just for reference. And now let's do the actual logic here. So after sorting, let's take two variables. I'll explain them as we move forward. Min. 
okay so one more tip here whenever you need to define whenever you need to keep a track of the maximum element always initialize it to int min in c++ and whenever you need to keep a track of the minimum element always initialize it to int max so this you will understand as you code more and more okay so for so what was the third step i treat the loop from the last element okay so for i equals to what is the last element n minus 1 i is greater than or equals to 0 moving towards forward and what i minus minus because we are moving from right to left for each iteration maintain the max index so far and maintain the max distance so far okay so how to keep a track of the max index so far let's do this mx equals to max of mx comma p of i dot what second why second because the second element of the pair is keeping the track of the index so this line what it does it stores the maximum index of the elements occurred so far while moving from right to left okay and this is a max function which which outputs the max of the two input values within it as the parameter okay so we have done this and now maintain the max distance which is max index minus current index so far so what is the max index mx and what is the current index p of i dot second okay so let's do that x equals to max of x comma what p of i dot second so let's understand what we have done for each iteration maintain the max index so far so we are maintaining the max index in the mx variable mx equals to max of mx comma p of i dot second and the maximum index so far and maintain the maximum distance which is maximum index minus current index so what is maximum index mx which is the maximum index stored in mx so far and the distance is mx minus p of i dot second which is maximum index minus current index so current index is p of i dot second and maximum index we have calculated here which is mx so the difference would be this and we need to maximize maximize this value and return it okay so let's just print it out c out x so let's see what gets printed here let's recompile it for save it then recompile it then rerun it okay so as you can see the output expected for this input was 2 and we are getting 2 so let's just give another input array so let's do this 3 4 5 6 so what should be the output we need to find the maximum distance such that the right element is greater than the leftmost element so here the answer would be 4 why 3 is the first element 6 would be the last element and right is greater than left so maximum would be the difference of these two indices so let's just check it out and then we can confirm that our code is running fine answer is 3 why because this index is 0 1 2 3 okay so index is 0 0 and this is 3 so 3 minus 0 is 3 okay so it is running fine so let's confirm okay so this is it thanks for watching you can just reiterate over this code to understand it in a better manner and if any queries just let us know thanks for watching